Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all my viewers. Today I brought the word of the living God to the people of God and those who do not know God. From the Hebrew text, 1 Samuel chapter 8, verse 1 to 21, and then I made the comparison to the Acts of the Apostle when Paul reminds the people of God when they wanted a king. Here is the Acts of the Apostle, chapter 13, verse 16 to 23. Paul reminds the people of God, the Jews and the Gentiles, for thank be to God that Jesus Christ is our King, that we go ask Jesus anything for any leaders to be leaders in your community, in your churches. We already have a King, not like the people that were in covenant with Jehovah when they grieved the spirit of Samuel, the first one of the last judges for the people of Israel, when they requested a criminal, their children, Samuel's children, they were criminals. And today, people are divided in the United States, but there is still hope through Christ Jesus that he is the authentic, King to all humanity in the heavens, on earth, and below the earth. So we have a king that we could cry out to him, to him, and we repent from our evil ways. That God is merciful and he will open our hearts and show us his way because he's coming. Look what's happening around the world. He's coming soon. So let's hold on to the real king, our savior, that takes care of all of us. God bless you, in Jesus' name, amen.